This is a Seagate Barracuda 250 gigabyte model ES2 hard drive that failed in a server. It was causing it to reboot. And uh, I wanted to today just give a demo of using this uh, what's called smart technology that's built into these and drives from other manufacturers. It's self-monitoring analysis and reporting technology and it's uh, a set of uh, variables that uh, the device uh, collects information about as it runs. It usually runs in the drive electronics and the firmware of the drive. And you can use a utility like this one here that I'm using in Linux, Smart Data and Self-Tests. And you can kind of see some interesting stats. You can see how long it's been how long it's been running for, and in this case, seven years, seven months, and twelve days. It was in a server, ran twenty-four hours a day. Um, you can't believe all the data that's here though. Um, last self test completed successfully. Okay. Self assessment thresholds not exceeded. Well, you'll see that's not the case. Overall assessment on disk is okay with 472 bad sectors. Well, there's a lot of bad stuff going on here. First, this read error rate is 62 million and so on. And if I hover over it, it says frequency of errors while reading raw data from the disk. A non-zero value indicates a problem with either the disk surface or the read write heads. Um, this one, the start-stop count, tells you how many times the thing has been started up and shut down over its life. Not many times, 236, given it was in a server. Most of the time it was just on, running, not uh, being rebooted or anything. Uh, the reallocated sectors are sectors where it's moved the data to another location because that sector was going bad. Well, it's done that 469 times. There's a, a seek error rate the frequency of errors while positioning and you can see there's a whole mess of those uh, <laughs> won't even try to count that number is that 18 billion <laughs> that does that seems a bit ridiculous actually but uh, there's your runtime uh, your power cycles how many times it's been powered on now I'm noticing it's the same as a start stop count I guess uh, maybe it's the same variable um, reported uncorrectable errors, the number of errors that could not be recovered using hardware ECC, which is a type of error correction. 228 sectors worth of that. High fly rights, that's a bad one. That's the number of times the recording head is operating outside of its normal operating range. In other words, its position. And 167 times for that. So Bottom line, back up your data. This one is definitely a goner, and you wouldn't want to waste your time with it. And I've got some more drives here. I'm going to take a look, see if I can find another one here. I've got a stack of a few more to see if there's uh, any other interesting ones to look at. Stand by. Okay, this is a Seagate Constellation ES drive, 500 gig. And it's healthier than the last one we looked at. Um, disk is okay. Eight bad sectors. That's a lot less. Still a lot of uh, read errors. Which I, I don't get. Still like something like 76 million in the read error. But in looking over that, I also noticed that it's the same uh, number as the ECC error. So some things are getting uh, hardware ECC recovered. Um, some data is getting copied over to other fields, but you know, it's a little bit younger drive, five years old. And in a server again, in a raid, and uh, I find this hard to believe it's only been power cycled 16 times in five years, but okay. And now I'm going to look for an unhealthy one of these. I should have one that's, uh, that's in, in bad shape. This one's high mileage, you know, it's, it's noting here old age, old age, but uh, still maintaining the data on there. Okay, so I've got another one of these Constellation ESs hooked up that's gone bad. 
and it says uh, here in the boot screen, this is coming through the BIOS, uh, smart hard drive detects imminent failure. So we'll get the OS booted up and get a look at uh, what the smart data looks like for this sick hard drive. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get to look at any of the information on that drive smart. I, my uh, OS can't even detect it, and it's spitting out so many errors. It actually was slowing down my computer from booting up. But um, thanks for checking out this video, this brief look at uh, smart data and hard drives.